Hey guys, welcome back. In this next video, we're going to be looking at probabilities using discrete probability distributions. So let's take a look at our scenario. So let's say that a researcher developed a test to measure boredom tolerance. He administered it to a group of 1,000 adults between the ages of 25 and 35. The possible scores were 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So definitely discrete there, right? Finite number of outcomes, with six indicating the highest tolerance to boredom. The following is the probability distribution. Now the first thing we should do is verify that this is a valid distribution. So we do that by checking that our two conditions are met. So we check that each individual probability is between zero and one. So a quick look at each one they are all decimals between 0 and 1, so our first condition is met. The second thing that we should check is that if we were to sum up each of these probabilities, so if we were to do 0 0.07 plus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.22 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02, they should be equal to 1. And so if we check that out and just verify that, we do get that the sum of all of our probabilities there is 1. So we have a valid probability distribution. Now that we know that, we can answer some questions about probabilities here. So here in our first question, it says, what is the probability of getting a random variable x that is greater than 4. So when we look at our table, or we look at our values, values of x that are greater than 4 include 5 and 6. So we would take the probability of x equals 5 and add it to the probability that x equals 6. So in this case, that would be 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02 or 0 0.1. So for this case, the probability of having a boredom tolerance of 5 or 6 is 1. Checking out our next one, what is the probability of getting a random variable x that is between 1 and 4, 4 being included? So this is less than or equal to here. So strictly greater than 1 would include 2, 3, and since we are less than or equal to 4, we'll also include 4. So this is the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4. So that is 0.18 plus 0 0.30 plus 0 0.22. Adding those all up, I get 0 0.7. So the probability of having a boredom tolerance between 1 and 4 inclusive is 0 0.7. And finally, our last one, probability of x being less than or equal to 2. So less than or equal to 2 are all values less than 2 and also including 2. So that would be the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2. That would be 0 0.07 plus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.18. Adding those up. I get 0 0.38. So our probability of x being less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.38. All right, guys, that does it for this video on probabilities using probability distributions. We'll catch you in a future one.